Introduction to Arduino Hardware and Software The Parts of the Arduino Development Board The Installation of Arduino IDE Software And the Blinking LED Setup Tutorial The Arduino is an open-source electronic platform, based on flexible easy-to-use hardware and software. For many years now, the Arduino platform has been the used on thousands of projects, from simple everyday tools, to highly complex scientific instruments, and engineering devices. It is supported worldwide by students, programmers, artists, hobbyists, and professionals. The Arduino has the capability to read inputs, such as light on a sensor, a finger on a button, distance of objects, moisture, humidity, ambient temperature, vibrations, a Twitter message, or a messenger text. And also, turn these inputs into outputs, like activating a motor, turning on an LED, lighting a bulb, making sound, produce movement, displaying information, publishing something online. The Arduino basically uses the information from inputs to control various desired outputs. And most importantly, the user has full control, and tells the Arduino what to do, by using the Arduino programming language. The program, called a sketch, is based on the C language, which is used in many scientific, and engineering programming situations. Let's identify the different parts of the Arduino development board. Power and barrel jack which can be used with either a 9 volts or 12 volts wall ward or battery. Power in, USB port, it provides power and communicates with your board when plugged into your computer via USB. LED RX, which lights up when the Arduino is receiving data. LED DX. It lights up when your Arduino is transmitting data, such as when running a program. LED pin 13, for troubleshooting. This LED is incorporated into your sketch, to show if your program is running properly. Digital input output pins, used for digital inputs, outputs, power, and ground. Power LED, this indicates the Arduino is on. Reset button, used to manually reset Arduino, which makes code restart. ICSP pins, for in-circuit serial programming, which is used if you want to bypass the bootloader. Atmel AT Mega 328 Microcontroller Chip Analog Input Output Pins, used for analog inputs and outputs. And the Power Pins, used for power, ground, and reset. Now that we already know the Arduino hardware, let's download the Arduino IDE software. Remember, always get the Arduino program installer from the official site arduino.cc. Then make sure to follow the setup instructions. Then use the USB cable provided in the kit to connect the Arduino to one of your computer. The power light should come on, and you may notice the quick blink on the pin 13 LED. Depending on your computer's operating system, you may need additional drivers. Please consult the URL below, on how to install the drivers onto your Arduino for Windows, and for Macs. You may skip this part, if your computer have the latest drivers. Load the IDE software. Since the Arduino board is connected to the computer via a USB-B connection, the USB provides power, 5 volts and up to 2 amperes, to the Arduino. Also, the operating system usually recognizes the board as a generic COM port automatically. Next, select your board. 
From the Tools menu, select Board, then select the specific Arduino board. In this case, it's Arduino Uno. If you are using a different board, you must select the proper board. Next, you must tell the IDE which COM port the Arduino is on. To do this, navigate to Tools menu, select Port, in this case select COM7. Obviously, if your Arduino is on a different port, select that port instead. For Max, select the serial device of the Arduino board from the Tools menu. Then Serial Port menu. On the Mac, this should be something with devtty.usb modem. The Arduino GUI is quite user-friendly. You have the menu bar, button bar, the white input or edit area, the status bar, and the program notification area. Here are the frequently used commands. Verify, this compiles and approves your code, and will catch errors in syntax. Upload, this sends your code to the Arduino board. When you click it, you should see lights on your board blink rapidly. New, this opens up a new code window tab. Open, this opens an existing sketch, which is where you write your code. Save, this saves the currently open sketch. The serial monitor, opens a window that displays any serial info the Arduino board is transmitting. This is very useful for debugging. Sketch name, is the name of the sketch you are currently working on. Code area, the area where you compose the code for your sketch and the message area or debug window, is where the IDE tells you if there were any errors in your code. During Arduino IDE setup and program compilation, here are what you may see in the message area or debug window. When the program upload is successful, and has no errors. When you have selected the wrong port. While here, the wrong board has been selected. Now, let's try to use the Arduino on an actual program application. Here is a simple program you can try on your own. The Blinking LED program. You may download the program, or just follow the link from the description below, and paste it on the code area of your Arduino IDE software. Here's what we need, the Arduino Uno board an LED bulb, 220 ohm resistor, and the Blink LED program uploaded successfully. Connect the longer LED wire to the resistor, and this goes to pin 13. Then the shorter LED wire goes to the ground pin. When everything is connected properly, and the program was uploaded successfully, the LED bulb will blink every second continuously. You may try changing the LED to a different type or color, or use a resistor of higher resistance, but it will dim the light produced. Just make sure the connections are correct and it will still give the desired result. Take note, the resistor limits the voltage across the LED and the current that passes through it. If the you remove the resistor, the current through the LED will exceed its rating, and it will be destroyed. The LED might blink for a while, but eventually burns out, 